Good Thank you guys for making it. Thank you. You all set? <laughs> it's that time. It's about that time. We're just waiting for the ladies. Let's make let's make note. It's about six oh nine. Still no ladies down here for six o'clock. Means six fifteen if we're lucky. Six yeah. fifteen if we're lucky. When it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift, the baffled king composing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.
Let us pray. Would our guests please be seated? Good afternoon. It is truly a blessing for two people to find one another and to love so deeply that they embrace the bond of marriage. Who gives this bride's hand in marriage? I do. Okay. Thank you. face each other. Erica and Stephen, marriage is a gift from God, a miracle. After speaking with you both, it is obvious that you already know some of the great blessings marriage has to offer. It is an opportunity to feel the joy of taking care of someone who takes care of you, to be challenged towards growth yet gently nurtured, to love deeply and receive love in return. Marriage is a promise made in the hearts of two people who love each other, and the potential of marriage requires a lifetime to fulfill. For centuries, the wedding ceremony has been described as giving one's hand in marriage. What is the meaning of that phrase? How did it originate? Erica and Stephen, Please look at the hands holding yours so that you may see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will help you hold your children and support and protect your family. These are the hands that will hold you tight when you struggle through difficult times. These are the hands that even many years from now, when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you that same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Yes, these are the hands that today you take in marriage. Erica and Stephen want to especially acknowledge their parents, Nicholas and Diane Maffei, Suzanne Shinati, David Borton, and Esther Campbell on this joyous occasion. Erica and Stephen offer their profound gratitude to their parents for all the love and care they displayed in raising them. The unconditional gifts of love and support that you as parents have continually offered have inspired Erica and Stephen to become whom they are today and they thank you from the bottom of their hearts for guiding them to this celebration of love. Without you this day would not be possible. Erica and Stephen, before you are joined in marriage in the presence of God and these witnesses, I am to remind you of the serious and binding nature of the relationship you are now about to enter. Erica and Stephen, if you now wish to unite in matrimony, assuming all its rights, obligations, and abundant joys, please so indicate by each saying, I do. I do. I do. Please look into each other's eyes as you make your vows of marriage. Stephen, please repeat your vows after me. I, Stephen, take you, Erica. I, Stephen, take you, Erica. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise to love, cherish, and honor you. <laughs> I promise to love, cherish, and honor you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer, for poorer. For richer. Definitely for the poor. <laughs> for better, for worse. For better, for worse. And forsaking all others. And forsaking all others. To be faithful and true to you. To be faithful and true to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Very nice. Erica, please repeat your vows after me. I, Erica, take you, Stephen. I, Erica, take you, Stephen. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise to love, cherish, and honor you. I promise to love, cherish, and honor you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer, for poorer. For richer or poorer. For better, for worse. For better or worse. And forsaking all others. And forsaking all others. To be faithful and true to you. To be faithful and true to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Very nice. 
Erica and Steven, nothing is easier than saying words, and nothing is more difficult than living those words day after day. What you promise today must be renewed and practiced again tomorrow, the tomorrow after that, and all the tomorrows after that. Wedding rings are a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. As you wear your <laughs> wedding rings through time, they will reflect not only who you are, but also the glorious union that you are now creating. May your wedding rings be a daily reminder of your vows to each other and your resolve to live together in unity, happiness, and love. Erica and Stephen, as a symbol of your love and respect for each other, do you now wish to exchange rings? We do. Absolutely. We do. <laughs> May I please have the rings? <coughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> God bless these rings and the two who exchange them. Fill them with your holy presence. Keep them safe in the circle of your protection and love. Amen. Amen. Okay, Stephen, we're going to give you that ring. Stephen, please give your ring to Erica by placing the ring on Erica's hand with the words, with this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Erica, please give your ring to Stephen by placing the ring on Stephen's hand with the words, with this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Wear these rings as the enclosing bond of reverence and trust. Fulfill the circle of love that now makes you one. Erica and Stephen, I am certain your guests join me in extending this special wish to you on your wedding day. We wish that you will experience the guidance, strength and direction to make your relationship grow and blossom in the years ahead. May your home be filled with joy and happiness and may you strive together to make your hopes and dreams come true. Most of all, we wish that you will be surrounded by the love and support of family and friends as you begin life together as husband and wife. And from this day forth, may your worries be few, may your joys be many, and may your love grow more abundantly with each passing day. Erica and Stephen, you have consented together to be bound to one another in lawful marriage. You have made special promises to each other that have been symbolized by the joining of hands, the taking of vows, the giving and receiving of rings, and by the sand blending ceremony. By the authority vested in me, according to the laws of the state of Delaware, it is my great pleasure and privilege to now pronounce you husband and wife. Stephen, you may kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Stephen and Erica Borton.
you know?